GLR125 and in this video what I'm about to do is just open up the um, clutch cover and check the clean the oil strainer but this is the first time and I already done 83,000 miles on this bike and let's see I'm gonna open it so this is the first time and let's see how dirty the oil strainer is after 83,000 miles first thing I'm gonna drain extract the oil Okay, before I open the cover, I need to know how much torque it takes to open it up. So later on when I'm tightening it, so I'll put the same amount of torque on the each bolt so I don't damage the, um, what it calls, the uh, thread on the bolt or maybe the engine itself. Because if you put too much exert, the engine is alloy and easily you can damage either the bolt or the engine itself so you need to know how much torque each uh, the bolt takes to open you can find out on the service manual or also what you can do you can use the torque wrench and just try to loose them with the torque wrench and see how much it takes to get them loose how much force it takes Okay, it takes about 15, 15 Newton meter of the torque to open them up. As you can see, so um, I'm trying again other bolt to see. Yeah, now from 14 or 15, I'm come a little bit down to the 13 to see if the other still no no this was on a 13 uh, Newton meter so if I put it on 14 still no no so 15 is the point again I put it on the 15 as you can see and easily they get on loose So it's about 15 newton meter it takes to tie them up and now I use my tool quickly to loose the covers. And that's the way I like to do it so the first tree is the smaller than the others and we, I started from this point and opened all the way around so 
so the cover is seized in its place and something usual all you need to do just give it a small tap from sides and don't put your head of the hammer on it use the cloth or my end of the hammer is a plastic part and I tap with that and there you go that's the inside the engine and what I'm trying to show you now is the oil strainer and uh, is very clean actually looking at it is I I change my oil every one and a half thousand uh, mile so it's very less very little dirt in it I was expecting to be so much dirt and uh, metal metal piece in there but literally it's nothing here basically I what I did just used my piece of rag to wipe off the dirt and the piece of the material whatever it was stuck in well, you can blow some air or you can clean it off with a brush as well These are the deaths or debris. debris. These are the debris that ac accumulated. <laughs> oh my god, I ruined the gasket. That's alright, I didn't have a spare for this one. And this is also the cap, as you can see how much dirt in gum, gummed up, accumulated. La la. <laughs> right. Right. The remaining gasket, I just removed it with the. A Stanley knife and what I'm gonna do now wipe it off and make my own gasket just want to run the engine like this
Oh my god. Okay, uh, to make the gasket, I use the gasket paper. Uh, what I'm gonna do, simply apply a little bit of oil around the uh, part and then I use the gasket late and that's it what I'm gonna do use my scissor and cut the shape right so the gasket I made it doesn't look that good but that's fine it does the job just simply gonna place the cap So this is the new gas circuit and it goes laid right this this point and I'll put the covers So now the gas gasket So what I did, just tied up all the bolt with the 14 newton meter of torque and then all, all it lifts, just wash it and put a new oil in.